there's you know upwards of 200,000 fish pass through here. Visitors from near and far stop by the main forest and logging museum in Bradley to witness alewife fish come back from the ocean. The fish have made their return to Maine's freshwater streams to spawn in large numbers. Experts say that the alewives are vital to maintaining the state's animal life. They are extremely important to the, the entire ecosystem. They, uh, they are referred to as the fish that feed everything, uh, from raccoons, cormorants, people, uh, and maybe more importantly, uh, they're a great source of lobster bait. While many came for the fish, some stayed for the other attractions presented by the museum. In addition to learning about and even catching their own alewives, visitors were invited to learn what Maine has to offer by taking part in blacksmithing and watching a working sawmill in action. It gets to celebrate the rich history and heritage of not just forestry and logging that you might tend to think about with lumberjacks uh, out there, uh, but, you know, forestry has been practiced for thousands of years from indigenous people up through today. There's a lot that it has contributed. One visitor was excited to return for her second year. And like the alewife fish, she had traveled far to reach her destination. We are actually from Kentucky. We are the caretakers here for the summer. It's a beautiful place to be, but it's also a chance for us to give back. It's great that we can see so many alewives uh, going up the fish ladder here and up into the ponds to, to spawn and breed. So we're excited about that. To learn more about upcoming events, visit MaineForestAndLoggingMuseum.org. In Bradley, David Ledford, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.